Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of the Gong Legacy Let's Play series. We are in Inni's house and um, as you can see, we have a new character here. Very, very exciting. Um, I've teased her appearance at the end of the last episode, so you guys already saw this coming. But this is Inni's mother. Her name is Li Ke Yao, which basically means Jade. I got her into a pose so that I can um, present her, but there's nothing much to really say about her. We're going to get to know her as we go along, but she is a famous musician, so she's a proper celebrity herself. I'm going to put her out of her little pose now. And um, yeah, that is Ke Yao. And Ke Yao has actually asked Inni to invite his girlfriend. And she, she, of course, she knows Reina. Although Reina technically right now doesn't know, neither does she know Reina because I haven't gotten that set up yet. But um, they probably aren't that close because she's always not in town. But they've grown up knowing each other more or less since Inni is Reina's childhood friend as well. But they haven't seen each other in a very long time. So Inni is already at the door. Reina is in her like kind of like meet the parents kind of party wear <laughs> and Ke Yao has basically asked um, Inni to bring his girlfriend home to you know have a meal together which is very stressful for Reina at least meeting the parents is always not now that <laughs> meeting the parents is always quite a um, stressful thing even though she technically knows Ke Yao. But anyways, I'm playing from Ke Yao's perspective mainly today so I'm going to get Ke Yao to call Reina over and they're gonna meet and then they're gonna have a nice dinner which our butler is making for us right now. She's making some family meal. I'm not sure what she's actually making but she should be about done. Oh yeah, there she goes. She's done. She made spinach frittata. I think that's what we're gonna have for dinner so I'm gonna pull this over all the way to the dinner table. It's kind of sad to just have this. I would have had them make something Chinese to eat but the thing is, Kaya's not really good at cooking and honestly when she's home she's going to make the butler work. <laughs> so the butler has to cook and the butler has chosen to cook us spinach frittatas. So I guess we're gonna get Kaya to say hi to Rina. We're gonna um, not take selfie with Fen but let's do a cheerful introductions like hi long time no see i'm thinking where Ini should sit like if he should sit here or here maybe we'll have Ini sit here because um it's kind of like moral support but the thing is i think they will stand up again because they're gonna grab food um i'm gonna get Ini to call to meal and then i'm going to steady sit them afterwards <laughs> hmm i guess this works <laughs> Inni sitting across from Reina and Reina sitting next to mom. Not scary at all. Absolutely not. Not stressful at all. Also the sunset is so nice behind them. The view that money buys you. Okay, Kaya so is going to start asking um, Reina questions. I feel like Kaya would be very... Um, would want to get to know Reina a bit more like especially because she hasn't really heard from Reina in a really long time and Inni actually hasn't told Kaya about um, Reina much, like a little bit but not too much. So I was gonna ask Reina about her career, like what are you doing right now? I heard that you just graduated from school and Reina's gonna be like, oh yeah, I am a doctor now. And those about your children. Ooh, I guess she would. She would be like, I've always thought that you guys would one day end up together so I was really happy to hear that you guys started dating. Okay, so when are you guys gonna get married? <laughs> and then Inni's gonna be like, share insecurities to mom and be like, mom, don't ask that kind of question right now. That's so awkward. I haven't even asked the question myself. Then mom's gonna be like, that's just what a mom's supposed to ask. I need to know when I'm going to get my, my grandchildren. Mom, no, not the talk of children we're not there yet come on and i think reina has been pretty receptive through everything i think she has prepared herself for this situation i think we're going to press a little bit further because koya cannot be stopped and we're going to be like talking about fertility oh but you guys are of a good age to have babies and start a family so Reina has been pretty pleasant throughout the entire thing though so that's cool like I feel like Ke Yao has been overstepping a little bit with like her intrusive questions playing the part of a concerned mother and Reina is like okay I think it's very late I should make myself scarce <laughs> Oh my god, I knew this was going to be chaotic because there's absolutely no way I would have been able to make this work out the way I wanted it to fully but I want to basically show that Kaya will be quite a difficult mother-in-law to please but only because she's kind of self-absorbed and it was like an interview to be her daughter-in-law or something and Inni is now here like sharing his insecurities being like I'm so sorry my mom's like that, <laughs> like, I didn't expect um, her to tell you this kind of question. She literally just told me that she wanted to have a meal and meet you. I mean, 
like you guys know each other so i thought it was like a nice like reunion thing she just came back after all Inu is going to be saying let me walk you downstairs and he's seeing Rina off and he's talking to Rina a little bit and also i think he's going to flirt a little bit and be like hey but my mom has a point though like do you think now that you're graduated too do you think it's almost time for us to think about the next step to the relationship and i feel like rena's thing like you know that sounds kind of nice I, I mean i have been thinking about it a little bit but i think i'm not super ready yet to be very honest with you i feel like my career has just started out i barely even went to work um, I still want to get more things sorted before thinking about settling down and uh, I think basically they're going to just say goodnight with a very lovely intense kiss and um, Inis like don't worry about it I was just floating the idea since it came up during dinner but you know I love you and I'll you take all the time you need I'm not going anywhere and we're going to send Reina home now so I think I will see you guys when Reina gets back home it is 5 p.m. the next morning and Reina just woke up. She is off today so I'm not really very sure what she's going to get up to but I feel like she's gonna want to take like a more of a relaxing day off because yesterday was kind of stressful last night. She went to work and then she had to get off and go meet her boyfriend's mom for dinner. She has been quite successful in avoiding, um, well not avoiding but I guess not having to meet Inis mom or like parents in general. It's not that she doesn't like Inis parents or anything, it's more like because they haven't been around, she never really had to think about um, the more like familial aspect of if you're dating someone. By the way, um, my barefoot thing is not working on females as well now. I have no idea what's happening. Um, I didn't even update anything much. Maybe that's why. Maybe I haven't updated anything but I haven't figured out the reason yet. So just so you know, we'll see strange footwear in the house again. It's so annoying but it's okay. That's what happens when you have a game that's like heavily modded like mine. But yeah, so Reina is just doing her morning routine, doing her yoga. I think I want to cue for her to do some meditation later as well. She's actually thinking of meeting someone new from being cheerful. She hasn't actually met a new sim in a really long time. So I think I might just get her out and see who we meet. I don't have anyone set up for her. So I think it will be as much of a surprise to me as it will be to you. But hopefully that will make her a little happier. She also wants to stargaze with Inni. Maybe we can see if we want to set up like a little stargazing date or something tonight because there's nothing else that's happening today i think nothing on the calendar there's no festivals or anything far as i know any any chinese festivals that i'm like missing right now um there's none set up so far i guess we're free to just like hang out until in winter time when we'll have dongzhi but that is like a very long time away so i think we'll be free from festivals for a little bit i think reina is like you know she's always very reflective about things so while she's working on her wellness her being centered and all that she was also trying to process yesterday because when she came home she gave it a little bit of processing a little bit of thought but she didn't really think too much about it and obviously i wasn't controlling reina so I, we didn't know how she felt or anything we just knew that reina did very well on the surface being like the stella proper girlfriend like playing the role of that but I honestly don't know if she feels that way inside. Like she doesn't take things too seriously anymore. Like she doesn't get tensed anymore. She's carefree. She doesn't feel like she needs to get mad when someone's like being horrible to her. Um, not that Inis' mom was being super horrible or anything, but I feel like even in her more awakened slash enlightened state, she does know that whatever she experiences today would probably have broken someone a little bit less resilient. And she wonders if. This is the type of mother-in-law that she would want as well. Like these things are appearing in her mind. It's not as if she didn't know already what kind of person Inis' mom is like. Like she's been around her when she was younger, when Inis' mom was a little bit more around before they moved away. So she's just processing basically, wondering how she will live with this because I feel like she would try to figure out a way to make sure that she would um, ensure a successful relationship with Inis basically. Like she's very committed to the relationship. She knows and she's always remembering how it's like the one thing that she's always wanted in her life and um, it seems like you know she she got it so she's trying to stick to it <laughs> there's a little bit of that going on but she's meditating right now but i think she could we could get her to stop she's not hungry or anything there's nothing else we really need her to do oh there's like stinky food 
in the fridge so maybe we can clean up the fridge i'm not sure if there's anything else in the fridge for her to eat she's not hungry thankfully oh wow there's so many things in the fridge there's some mooncakes left lovely chimis oh wow we have lots of food reina doesn't even have to cook maybe we'll get like a couple of club members to go out together maybe that'll be nice it'll be like a hangout session with her uni friends as well as a sort of like go out and meet someone new sort of situation so i think we'll just head over all right, so let's go in. Maybe we can start a little bit of a ping pong game. Just ping pong. Beer pong is fun, but it's like so early in the morning. I don't think Reina is the type. Let's play ping pong against Jeremy since we're talking to Jeremy right now. And Zhengzi is already doing some darts. Kai Feng's just watching. <laughs> So cute! I miss them so much. If you guys didn't know already, I have been away on an hiatus so I haven't actually seen the Gong Legacy people even longer than my other two Let's Plays actually. And I'm so glad I'm back finally. Gong Legacy is my baby. And Gong Legacy is something that I only like to play when I feel inspired enough to make a story out of it. It takes a little bit more effort to play. I mean, it's just... I love the story a lot so I want it to be at least a little bit better than my usual. <laughs> If that makes sense. I'm very happy to hear that you guys do kind of like it from like the comments and the likes and the views that I get from this series. So that's great to know. Thank you so much for your support and for your patience. German lost? Wow, very unexpected. We need to meet someone new. So I'm trying to find someone new to meet. Oh, there's a girl here. I don't think we know her. I feel like Reina really just doesn't have a lot of female friends. So if she can make friends with this one, we'll be a lot happier. I don't know, maybe. If they get along. Oh no, she doesn't like her. Okay. We could tell an outrageous story to her. She looks very irritated right now. I'm not sure why. It could be PMS, it could be anything. Um, I'm trying to see how she thinks about Kyoko. Rina <laughs> finds Kyoko fun to be around at least, but Kyoko finds her annoying. Maybe because Rina is currently very energized. We should help her out, yeah. Because we're good and we're like, oh my god, I sense that you're feeling a little bit of tension. I wonder if I can help you. Also, Rina is actually very sweaty right now from like yoga and then the, the pink pong match and everything. So they'll say it's okay. Take a deep breath. You'll feel better, I promise you. Oh, now they are happy together now. Oh, how sweet. Reina likes affection. Cool, of course she can. Okay, we're just going to ask her to come just hang out with us and our friends. Okay, she can hang out for a bit. That's nice to know. Let's express admiration at her. Maybe we'll, we'll compliment her outfit too um, and be like, I really like your dress because it's very nice. <laughs> Where is it? How do I compliment appearance? Compliment! Outfit! Yay! Yeah, like that. And Kai Feng's also talking to us. Maybe we should give Kai Feng some, um, some attention to. We'll do gossip about neighbors because we're all neighbors as well. And complain about cloudy weather. Oh, Go Song's here! Let's say hi to Go Song. Bestie, my gym bro. Hello, my friend. A long time no see. How are you doing? Ask about day. Okay, she met someone new and now she wants to listen to Latin pop music or stereo music. But it's not Latin pop that is playing, but just this. So maybe we could listen to Americana. I don't know if that works because it says listen to stereo music. Oh, we have to dance, not listen. Let's dance together. Okay, Reina's dancing. Everyone's dancing. Wow, having fun in a bar on a Tuesday afternoon slash morning. <laughs> oh, she wants to have a drink now? Okay, since she wants to have a drink, I could get her to order a drink for the group and we'll do... What does everybody want to drink? Let's get some... Um, it's like too early for alcohol, so I'm just gonna say Thai iced milk tea because that is not alcoholic and a really nice drink. For most people, not for me though. <laughs> I think she's having a lot of fun. Play beer pong with teammate. Ooh, let's do it. Let's team up with Guo Song, maybe? And then we'll play against Kai Feng and Zheming. I feel like Kai Feng and Zheming together would make a mean team. Zheng Jie himself, I don't think he's much of an athletic person, so maybe we won't stand a chance at winning. <laughs> so the rest of them are going to do the beer pong. Why are they all doing push-ups? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. Ooh, they're going to have to drink. Do you guys remember when Guo Song and Reina came to celebrate their friendship um, on the third episode, was it? Or was it the second episode? And Guo Song cried because he lost. It was so funny. I still remember to this day when it happened. Jeremy, you want to pee already? Oh no, don't pee yourself. My gosh. Okay. Oh no. Will Reina get drunk? Oh no, she's crying too. Don't cry. This is so fun. 
<laughs> I love that there's two seats for them to sit around while waiting for their turn, I guess, to drink or to bounce the ball. I really love her in this t-shirt. It's like so silly. I feel like she saw the carrots and she was like, oh my god, I have to have this. <laughs> oh, okay, we're done. Um, so <laughs> Reina and Gosong lost 4 to 2. Oh my goodness, are you guys drunk yet or are you guys not? No, you guys are at least like Reina. Reina's tipsy. That's cute. Let's give flatter and give cooking tips to Jeming. Oh, he wants to pee. I shouldn't hold him back for too long. But yeah, we're just going to say some stuff because we are like tipsy. But it's just like harmless things. She's not like <laughs> doing anything suspicious. She's just he's there. He's sitting there and he's like, did I tell you that you look good when you wear this jacket? Like you look good in black. And he's like, since when have I ever worn any other color? And she's like, I don't know. <laughs> I think we're gonna get her to end the club gathering and then we're gonna go home and then she's going to grab something to eat and maybe she'll invite Ini to come over and we can do like a little bit of a stargazing thing and maybe that will be the end of today's episode Okay, we are home so we're gonna go get some leftovers We have so much food that we don't even need to um, Why do you always change? <gasps> no, it's so annoying. Oh my god. I thought I fixed it, but I didn't. I mean like I fixed it and then it's not fixed anymore <laughs> Raina, why? I'm so sad. Oh, it's snow. Oh, right. We have <gasps> I forget that we have plants to harvest and take care of so Definitely doing that right now. My goodness. I forgot about that. But yeah, it's for snow guys It was like so cold and she's wearing this to go outside. My gosh. Right, so I'm gonna get her to eat and then while she eats, she's going to call in E and get him to come over Invite to hang out at current lot. We're gonna do some stargazing later But I think she's gonna take a shower first because she's still sticky and sweaty from like the entire day out And at some point, I, I feel like I should mention that I haven't actually- oh, she has bills to pay, yeah, see? So like, I forgot that I wanted to pay back my parents' money a little bit by little bit, like an installment plan I just checked and she owes her parents 127,000 simoleons roughly speaking so i think like every time she pays the bills we're going to put in a little bit of an installment so i think i'm just going to round out the number first so that we don't get confused and we can do like proper installments every single time so we'll get her to pay her bills first i totally forgot about the bills my gosh okay we have 41,000 leftovers we're going to offset the 87 simoleons so we don't get confused anymore and I'm also going to pay off enough that we only have 100k left to pay. So I'm just going to get Reina to right now pay off this much money. So that will leave us with 100,000 in total to pay and then we'll do installments afterwards. But for now, we'll just do this so that I don't have to do too much math. <laughs> and then we can probably pay it in maybe like 10 installments of 10 K that might be possible. Oh no, we only have a 14k left, but that's to be expected, so it's okay. And then now it's time to stargaze. Oh, I thought they would go out to the yard, but they decided to do it in the walkway. <gasps> Hello, okay. I guess, I guess maybe they just wanted to lie in front of her new house to do this stargazing thing. Um, no judgment there. Maybe it's a nice sky. The sky's the same everywhere. But there's also snow, so there's gonna be snow falling on them. It's not really the best idea, not gonna lie, but Reina wanted to do this, so we're doing it. But we're probably not gonna do this for long because it's snowing. She wants to donate to charity as well. Oh my god, we should! So how do we do this donating thing? Do we just- No, I think you have to go onto a computer to do so, right? I'm gonna get her to go to her computer upstairs. Oh no, before that, we're gonna ask Inny if she, he wants to stay over for the night instead of leaving us. So we're going to say... Talk about life together. Ooh. No, she said make future plans. Oh my gosh. That's heavy. That's heavy. She just said she needed time to think. So maybe not yet. She's like, she's like, I need to focus on my career. or Not yet, but maybe in the future. Okay, so we're going to invite to stay tonight. We're going to stop stargazing. It's very cold. Like just looking at them makes me feel cold. They're like lying on the floor. Oh my gosh. And then we're going to get Reina to sit here so that we can get her to donate some more money because she is so secure in the fact that she will earn the money back tenfold. So we are going to donate a thousand simoleons to one of the causes. Maybe we'll do research because she's a doctor. Maybe she believes in research and academia and that kind of stuff. I think that makes sense. I'm not sure what they research about. Like I'm not sure what the goths do with research, but that's what we're gonna do. And once we're done with that, I think 
we're gonna um, do some little cute uhu. <laughs> Why not? And she's going to wind down for the night. Oh yeah, Lorena's large donation does not go unnoticed. The charity has added her name to their donor wall. Nice. And yeah, we're gonna go and ask Ini to for some uhu. <laughs> And I'm going to leave you guys here. I hope this was a nice episode and meeting Ini's mother was not too... Oh my god, she was wearing my heels! I can't... Um, but yeah, meeting Ini's mother was interesting. Um, I can't wait to see what next episode is going to bring us. But for now, I'm going to leave you guys now. So thank you so much for watching all the way to this point if you have. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care!